For today's lesson, we will be covering G. Piaget's contribution to language development. Before beginning, I would like to review our goals for this lesson. After viewing this presentation, students will be able to identify the four stages of cognitive de and language development theorized by John Piaget. We will be able to explain how language development takes place in children in the light of his theory and value the significance of his contribution. Jean Piaget based his theory on the idea that children do not think like adults, as their understanding is qualitatively different from their older counterparts. This he associates with the different mental structures or schemas developed from infant to adults. Piaget theory proposes that children's language reflects the development of their logical thinking and reasoning skills in periods or stages with each period having a specific name and age reference. So who is Jean Piaget? He is a pioneering psychologist and philosopher having a doctorate in zoology, observed three six-year-olds during 1921 and 22 at the Institute Rousseau. The children were in an open classroom setting and adults transcribed their speech then listed it in numbered sentences for analysis. He concluded that through his interactions with their environment, children actively construct their own understanding of the world. He determined there are levels of growth in which new abilities are developed. Piaget's theory of cognitive and language development concerns itself with four main stages. Each of these stages is marked by changes in how children understand and experience the world around them. In his book, The Language and Thought of the Child, Piaget describes two functions of children's language. One is egocentric, the other one is socialized. In the sensory motor stage, the children's language is egocentric. They talk either for themselves or for the pleasure of associating anyone who happens to be there with the activity of the moment. According to Piaget's theory, children are born with basic action schemas such as sucking and grasping. The sensory motor period, which generally classified from birth to two years, the knowledge is acquired through the sensory experience and physical interaction. The language skill is based on their physicality. Just as they learn to move their legs, hands and fingers, they learn to move their mouth and make sounds and gestures like smiling, eventually mimicking sounds which are frequently heard like mama and papa. Children use these action schemas to assimilate information about the world and young children are surprisingly good at learning sign language. Indeed, research shows that babies can often learn to use sign language earlier than they can master the challenging task of using spoken language. The coordination of sensory experience with motor action is known as thought in action. After a casual observation of his nephew Gerald, he felt the need to study his daughter Jacqueline and did so. He found that all the time she went from object that no longer exists to looking for the object that was out of sight and finally by 21 months realized that they exist over time. This prompted him to study more scientifically about cognitive and language development in children. Through his study, he found that when the child comprehends the object that exists outside of the sight of the child, they realize that the object exists, separate from the perception of it. And so, they began experimenting based on senses by putting in words or relate names to those objects, which is nothing but language that is thinking. This the child does through imitation and modeling for which environment plays a crucial factor. Their egocentric views make them feel parents omnipresent and wants them to be with them for socialization that is learning. It also strengthens curiosity as they start exploring new words and things by the process called assimilation by Piaget. In the second stage named as pre-operational period, which is early childhood stage, falls between the age of 2 to 7 years, language development in children makes rapid progress. 
In the initial part of the stage, the development of their mental schemas let them quickly accommodate new words and situation. From using single word, for example, toy, they begin to construct simple sentences like there it is, supposedly pointing to the toy. Piaget's theory describes children's language as symbolic, allowing them to venture beyond what they hear and what happens now. And to talk about such things as the past, the future, people, feelings and events are quite complex. During this time, child's language often shows instances of what Piaget termed animism and egocentrism. Egocentric speech can be repetitive phrases similar to ecolalia or repetition of phrases heard in child's speech as he starts to speak. Or it can be a monologue of ideas that require no listeners. A child aged 5 to 7 might be heard describing what his boys are doing, child talk. Piaget noted that this verbalization is similar to the way people who live alone might verbalize their activities. He feels talking to yourself as a sign of sanity. It helps you to make decisions. Child at this stage are notorious for thinking that the world revolves around them and it's because they are unable to see the situation from any other view but their own. Piaget feels that cognitive and language development of young preschoolers and primary school children simply does not have the capacity to understand the concept of other person's point of view and this may make them seem demanding to parents or other adults. It also in a way limits socialization and enjoys animism. Animism refers to children's tendency to consider everything includes inanimate objects to be alive. They start speaking with their dolls. Furthermore, a child does not distinguish between internal and external, subject and object or between himself and the physical world. Piaget has called this phenomena as nominal realism. This reflects a self-speech where the child talks to him or herself in the form of narrating stories and seek pleasure in them. This enhances language capabilities. As they struggle with logics because of the egocentric views, which is still dominant, they also lack concept of conservation. This he attributes to limited processing capacity of the brain or it is not yet prepared to process complex or abstract information. The major operational period, Piaget theory divides this period into two main parts. Children between the ages of 7 to 11 years is called a period of concrete operation and 11 years to adulthood is termed as the period of formal operations. According to Piaget, children's language development at this stage reveals the movement of their thinking from immature to mature and from illogic to logical. They start to work more with their brain without having a physical trial though their logic is very rigid. Children's language also reflects their ability to decenter or view things from a perspective other than their own. This helps them to play games based on rules and work together in a limited sense. Socialization at this level becomes quite strong with their peers. They are able to perform tasks like sorting and ordering involving shape, size and many more characteristics which they are exposed to. It is at this point that children's language starts to become socialized, showing characteristics such as questions, answers, criticisms and commands. Language development is still governed by concrete facts rather than mental development. Egocentric views is still strong but shed them as they grow old and their abstract abilities are limited. Hence new and different words or sentences are difficult to follow but they try to learn them quickly as they start reading and try to even apply them in the process gain more command in language. Moreover, the brain's growth is sufficient to process more information and hence New languages like second language apart from mother tongue can be strongly exposed in detail to the child by the end of concrete operational stage. Formal operational stage. This stage begins at the age of 11 and continues into adulthood. 
with the ability to abstract reasoning the child can think of abstract idealistic and logical ways helps them to understand new words complex sentences with underlining motives and concepts better hypothetical deductive reasoning ability helps to develop scientific approach to address problems and systematically reach to conclusions it also helps them to store information more systematically and retrieve them when required this equips them to even create their own new rules for playing a particular game by modifying it for convenience it also helps them to process reversibility and conservation hence these new abilities which piage feels is because of brain development can enhance speed of learning second or new language and also gain proficiency in the language commonly used for communication this remarkable ability to express what they feel and how they think show lot of maturity in language abilities which is often reflected artistically in the form of painting drawing writing singing poems and so on metacognition which reflects on one's own cognitive activities will reach phenomenal growth when nurtured properly with proper social exposure in the form of hearing speaking or developing conversation reading and sometimes even writing in adolescence egocentrism is transformed into being heightened self consciousness and a sense of personal uniqueness this at time prevents or allows greater exploration and subsequently contribute to creative abilities in linguistics or language development after going through the characteristics of language development in different stages of life let us now discuss on how language development takes place that is the process language development process he believed language development pattern is influenced by biological cognitive and socio emotional changes that begins at conception and continues through the life span from infancy to adulthood language development process involves the identification of the images the concepts or themes and link it with the words or letters that is sound received from parents or environment and internalizes it it means story that is mental representation which can be used and reused when needed pj introduced few concepts which goes on in explaining the process of cognitive and language development in children he postulated that schemas are action or mental representations that organizes knowledge in more simple terms pj call the schemas the basic building blocks of intelligent behavior a way of organizing knowledge Indeed it is useful to think of schemas as units of knowledge each relating to one aspect of the world including objects actions and abstract concepts they get updated constantly as the individual organizes new learning we use schemas both to understand and to respond to situations the assumption is that we store these mental representations and apply them when needed for example the person might have the schema about when to prefix a and when to use an in english language how do you know that just think of it another one being when to use a singular or plural one can say these language schemas are learned as the child is exposed to grammar and gets constantly refined the child learns and updates language schemas as new knowledge or awareness of the child gets widened in other words piage feels as the child gets older his or her schemas become more numerous and vibrant leading to language proficiency the next one is organization which typically involves grouping of isolated behavior and thoughts into higher order systems for example in english language the difference between no and know in terms of phonemes spelling and meaning will get organized it is a continuous process of language development where the child tries to construct meaning of these terms sentences and their differences by organizing those information and stores the similarities and differences in the brain in order to use them for effective communication the process of organization is preceded by what piaget calls it adaptation adaptation is an internal process a type of adjustment that enables the transition from one stage to another which is of two stages assimilation and accommodation so assimilation which is 
using an existing schema to deal with new object or situation or even incorporating new information into existing schemas learning to pronounce a particular word the second one is accommodation this happens when the existing schema or knowledge does not work and needs to be changed to deal or fit with a new information or object or situation or experiences understanding the difference between t h e r e and t h e i r is an example initially the child cannot recognize them as they start using them frequently that is assimilate they realize and try to accommodate the change or difference in the meaning of those terms the best example may be cauliflower is categorized under vegetables and not flower why child will be thinking and then modifying her schema now the question arises that is for where comes the motivation to learn or change piaget refers to disturbance in equilibrium this is the force which moves development along and he believed that cognitive and language development did not progress at a steady rate but rather in leaps and bounds and one can attribute it to individual difference in language learning equilibrium occurs when the child schema can deal with most new information through assimilation however an unpleasant state of disequilibrium occurs when new information cannot be fitted into existing schemas that is assimilation for example we are not satisfied with the tone or way in which the reply came from another one we couldn't comprehend the grammar lessons taught by the teacher because logically it perceives to be weak according to your own or one's own perspective equilibration is the force which drives the learning process as we do not like to be frustrated and will seek to restore balance by mastering the new challenge that is accommodation in the example stated about the child seeks for clarification from the teacher about grammar lessons once the new information is acquired the process of assimilation with the new schema will continue until the next time we need to make an adjustment to it so equilibrium occurs when it is attained by a, sh a shift a resolution of conflict to reach a balance in this way child or the individual constantly works on to learn a language either in it is mother tongue or a new language piaget feels both organization and adaptation of functional variants of cognitive and language development now when we look into the factors involved in language development he strongly believed language development is governed by two main factors the first is the brain which involves in terms of capacity ability to think and store and process information and the second is the environment which gives the opportunity or reasons for thinking as far as the brain development is concerned myelination of neurons with age myelination refers to an increase in fatty shield surrounding neuronal processes and fibers that increases the efficiency in electrical transmissions the second one he talks about in terms of brain development is dramatic changes in synaptic connections a synapse is a complex membrane junction or gap used to transmit signals between cells and this transfer is therefore known as synaptic connection the third point he highlights here in terms of brain growth is that prefrontal cortex development during adolescence the development maturation of the prefrontal cortex occurs primarily during adolescence and is fully accomplished at the age of 25 years the development of the prefrontal cortex is very important for complex behavioral performance as this region of the brain helps accomplishing executive functions which is very important for language the development of these can impact cognitive and language development furthermore on the environmental front environmental factors like role of early and later experience of the child nature and nurture issues personality attributes etc all influence language development finally all these factors contribute to individuals differences in language development among children PJ believes these four stages of development associated language abilities are universal and children never skip a stage and move to another but some experts such as Margaret Donaldson professor of development psychology have argued that the clear cut ages and stages 
forming the basics of Piaget's theory on children's language and thinking abilities are actually quite blurred and blend into each other. Piaget summed up his study by saying, he believed that adults should understand that children are far more egocentric than adults and that they interact differently even when behaving socially. He stated that even when an adult is engaged in an individual pursuit, he still thinks socially. Whereas a child, even when he is engaged in what appears to be socially active, still functions individually. Let me conclude by saying that Piaget did not explicitly relate his theory to education, although later research have explained how features of Piaget's theory can be applied to teaching and learning and hence language development. The influence of Piaget's idea has been enormous in the field of cognitive development. He changed how people view child's world and many inferences have been gleaned from his theory by developmental psychologists on language development. He was an inspiration to many who came after and took up his ideas. Piaget's ideas have generated a huge amount of research which has increased our understanding of cognitive and language development. His ideas have been of practical use in understanding and communicating with children particularly in the field of education. Thank you for sharing your time with me today.